ba boom. All right, here we go. Five, four, <coughs> three, two. Hold on, let me go ahead. I guess Hi. we weren't ready. We'll do that again. Back to one. Well, it's okay. All I'm right. just gonna go ahead and uh, head out. All right. these, are, these are these are pickups, guys. These are pickups for game night. So just so you know, we're recording pickups. And here we go in five, four, three. Cut, no sound. So we'll go back to the top. There we we go. got no sound. It's Wednesday. I'm Teacher Tony, and this is BSA Live. We have our championship playoff round. Our two winners from the last couple of weeks are going to go head to head. We're going to see who the grand champion of BSA Live will be. Will it be Harper Hill or will it be Ella Grace? We've got our musicians and our stage directors and our guests, all part of BSA Live game night. And Teacher Tony, let's get right to it. All right and cut of that piece so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into a game for the championship round uh once jamel gets here we're gonna interview him like we normally do so uh let's come back in five and we're gonna go to the big wheel the big spinner wheel what do we call that the big wheel of fun the wheel of fun yeah, yeah. The, the wheel of spinning wheel of fun. the wheel of fun the wheel of improv that's okay here we go ready all right, let's go to the big game BSA Big Wheel of Fun and see what the first improv game is going to be for our two champions, Harper Hill and Ella Grace. All right, we're going to spin this wheel. This wheel was created by Dominic. So our first game is going to be for the girls. Oh, that's right on the line, but it said Pictionary. You guys want to start with Pictionary? Yes. Yeah. All right, what we'll do is we're going to screen share a whiteboard and Ella is going to draw a picture and mm -hmm. Harper has to figure out what picture it is in 60 seconds. If mm -hmm. she can't figure it out, we're going to flip and Harper is going to draw and Ella has to figure it out in 60 seconds. Mm -hmm. If one of them can complete this task, they get a point. Okay. All right, let's have, uh, let's have Zach play us into the beginning of this piece. So we'll get him. Oh, he wasn't ready. <laughs> All right, Sorry. we're going to have... Zach, do a little intro. So just play a little riff right now, Zach. Uh, okay. Anything? Don't worry about it. Okay. No singing. No singing. You just, just play. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right. We got a big championship round. We've uh, spun the big wheel of fun, the BSA wheel of fun, the first game called the Dictionary. And we've got Ella Grace drawing first. So let's go to the whiteboard. If Dom can send us over to the whiteboard. Ella Grace, you're going to get in your private chat from okay. our word generator. You're going to get a word. Okay. And once you get that word, tell me you have the word. Okay. You have um, the word? No, not yet. Okay. Dom is sending from a generator. He has a digital generator, word generator. And he is going to, and you should still be playing, Zach. Well, I love school. Zach, you're doing our music bed. All right, so uh, Ella Grace is getting a word in. Yeah. Okay, she has a word, and now she's going to draw. Let's see what word it is, what the uh, option is. Harper, you have 60 seconds. We'll put 60 seconds on the clock, and go. No, I don't have the word yet. Well, you said you had it. No, I didn't. You have it. Well, I didn't get it. Oh, oh, I just tried. Dress, skirt, no. salt, salt shaker, salt shaker. No. Um, um, person. No. 
podium. Hello. What, uh, okay. what goes along with the cape? Superhero. Yeah, but what superhero? Superman? Yeah. All right, she got it in 30 seconds. Congratulations, Harper gets a point. So whoever's keeping score, make sure we realize in this grand championship round, Harper has our first point. All right, we're gonna go to the second big wheel of spin. This is the BSA big wheel of fun. Let's see what we got. So we're gonna go clean up the whiteboard and head over to the big wheel. So Dom's gonna transition us over to the big wheel. And our music stopped. Are you bored already, Zach? <laughs> I don't know when to start and when to stop. Just play. Just play till I cut you. All right, the big wheel spinning. The big wheel spinning. What's it going to land on? It is going to be a big drum roll. It is rock, paper, scissors. All right. All right, we can touch it now, Zach. Go ahead and stop. So what we do is you two close your eyes. I'm going to count to three. And you guys are going to do the old traditional one, two, three and then display and then i'm going to have you open your eyes okay. you guys understand the rules yes. all right here we go close your eyes here we go on three ready one two three display open your eyes great minds think alike it's a tie let's do it again here we go close your eyes ready a little bit faster ready one two three display open your eyes Harper gets another point. That's two to zero. Two to zero. Ella Grace. I'm not sure what's happening. All right. Music cue. Hit your music. Go to the big wheel of spin. Yes, the big wheel of fun. What is our next in process? Share the big wheel of fun. And we watch the new guys. Let's see what we got going. We got uh, the next game is Simon Says. All right. All right. Let's go over to the group view. Simon says, if I don't say Simon, you don't do it. If I say Simon, you do it. Okay. Uh, you ready? Yes. Simon says, smile. Simon says, stop smiling. Simon says, frown. Simon says, stop frowning. Simon says, laugh. <laughs> says, stop laughing. Simon says, look left. Simon says, look right. Simon says, look down. Look up. Simon says, look up. Simon says, turn around. Simon says, turn around. Simon says, stop turning around. Simon says, put up 10 fingers. Put up nine fingers. Put up eight fingers. Simon says, put up seven fingers. Simon says, put up two fingers. Simon says, uh, say hi. Hi. Simon says, BSA game night, say BSA game night is fun. ESA game night is fun. Fun. Oh, dang. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Say it again. Simon says, say it again. You guys are great. BSA game night is fun. BSA game night is fun. All right. I'm going to give it to Dom. Try to try to stump him, Dominic. Try to stump okay. him. I can't do it. Clap your hands. Simon says, clap your hands. Stop. Simon says, stop. Simon says, raise your right hand. Lower your left hand. Simon says, raise your left hand. Simon says, wave your hands in the air like you just don't care. Put them down. Ooh, they're good. They're good. We're Simon says, stop. We're going to have to make it a tie. Ooh, this is going to be a tie. Okay. All right, they both get a point. Quick look here because it is up and running. All right, let's cue the music. Cue the music by Zach, our musician of the night. And we're going to go to the big wheel. There is our current scoreboard, too. Oh, look at that. Three to one, three to one. It's our grand championship round. Let's go to the big wheel of fun. Let's say big wheel of fun. We're going to look at the next big round, the next game. And it is, it is emotional triggers. All right. Thank you for that music. All right. Emotional triggers are, um, I am going to say happy, sad, angry, fearful. And I need you guys to think 
about what makes you happy, sad, angry, whatever the trigger is. And I want to see, or Dominic and Zach, we're all going to see if we believe or can, can figure out what emotion it is. Yes, you have a question? Yeah, can I use my notes from our private on Monday? Uh, you don't have to tell me that, but if that's what you do to get there, whatever it takes to get there. Okay, well, it, I was just it, wondering. In acting, it's all about the truth. However we get to the truth okay. is how you get to the truth. Okay? okay. All right, Harper, this might be new for you, but I'll work with you a little bit, and then you'll take some private classes, and we'll watch your growth over the weeks. But uh, I know you have a private class with me on Monday, okay? But Ella's had a few, and so this might be unfair, but you already have three points, so that's okay. All right. Ella Grace, yes. your emotional trigger is sad. All right. Dominic, do you believe she's sad? I don't, personally. Zach, do you believe she's sad? Not really. Okay, I do a little bit because I know Ella Grace is never sad. She's always happy. So I believe, we'll see. Harper, mm -hmm. your emotional trigger is happy. Hmm. <laughs> There's no question. Zach, what do you think? Is she happy? I could believe that. Okay, Dominic? Yes, you are happy. Okay, we're going to give Ella Grace one more shot at this, and then we're going to figure out who the winner is. Ella Grace. Mm -hmm. Your emotional trigger is excited. <laughs> okay. Dominic, do you believe her? Yes, I do. Okay. Zach, do you believe her? I could see it. Okay. So that's t that you guys are tied right now. Well, you're one behind Ella. If, if she doesn't get this next emotion, uh, you're tied. If she does get it, she wins this game, okay? Okay. Okay. Harper Hill, your emotional trigger is nervous. Zach, what do you think? Do you believe her? Very on the edge, but I don't believe her. Okay, what about you, Dom? I believe it a little bit, but not 100%. Do you <laughs> believe it more than Ella Grace is sad? Or is it a tie? I think it's a tie. I think it's a tie. What do you think, Zach? It's a tie. Yeah, All right, this is the playoff tie. round for this emotional trigger exercise to see who gets a point. Okay. Ella Grace. Yeah. You guys are doing really good considering uh, Harper hasn't had any private classes. So this is pretty stiff competition. Ella Grace, your yeah. emotional trigger is confused. Are you watching Zach? You got to critique her. All right. Dominic, do you believe she's confused? It's kind of mixed. Okay. Is I that... think I'm confused or she's confused, so I'm going to say she's confused. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Zach, what do you think? Confused and pondering. I'm going to give it, I'm going to believe it. Okay. Mm -hmm. you, she squeaked by, so we have to believe Harper. Harper, your emotional trigger is disgusted. All right, Dominic, what do you think? I think I believe it. What about you, Zach? I'd believe that. More than Ella Grace? God, it's close. Oh, it yeah. is super close. Yeah, I'm going to give them a tie. They both get a point. Yeah. You guys, very good. This is a tough exercise. This is really tough. And we have some yeah. tough critics there, too, by the way. All right, you guys tied. Let's play the music again for the next transition. Spin the big wheel of fun, the BSA wheel of fun. What's the next improv exercise? 
here at BSA Live. Video brought to you by Dominic, music brought to you by Zach, and emotions brought to you by all right, improv, riddle, and jokes. All right, knock knock jokes. Uh, Ella, you have a knock knock joke? I do. Okay. What's your knock knock joke? What do you call a fake noodle? Ooh, what do you call a fake noodle? What? what is it, Harper? Impasta. Yes. Okay. Oh, I a block. A block. <laughs> what do you? Uh, wait, wait, no, 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 no. No, now it's Harper's turn. Do you know oh, any knock knock jokes or riddles or funny lines or anything? Um. I know real riddle, but it's really long. So That's I'm trying to long, think long, of so any long. shorter ones. What? How long is really long? Um, maybe it's not like a sentence. It's like I don't know, like like a paragraph. Not like a paragraph. It's just try it. Try okay. us. Hit us with it. Okay, it's kind of a story. So there was a house. Of, there was a circular house that had no rooms whatsoever. Everything was all in one spot. There was a mother, a son, a daughter, a baby, and the baby's friend was over. And there was a housekeeper. One day the mom left to go get groceries. And, the da and then when she came home, all the TVs in the house were stolen. There was over 200 TVs because it was a mansion. It's crazy. I know. <laughs> then she in investigated everyone in the house. She asked the dad. He was down in the private bowling alley. He asked the she asked the, he she asked the daughter. The daughter was playing with her dolls. She asked the son. The son was playing um, was playing Xbox. Sorry, I was about to say like Fortnite or something. Um, and then he, she asked the babies. The babies didn't respond. It was just goo goo gaga. Then she asked the housekeeper. The housekeeper said she was just sweeping the corners. Who did it? The housekeeper, because it's a circular house. There are no corners. Correct. Whoa, block. Look at that. This is why this is the grand championship round here at BSA Live Game yes. Night. These two are good. Oh, my God. Uh, they both get a point. That's okay. amazing. Both get a point. All right, let's play the music. Let's do the, the wheel in. This is a stiff competition. Uh, all right, we're going to go make the wheel of fun. And the next improv game is going to be here to be a game night. This is Oh, where's it going to stop? Improv mirror exercise. All right, this is a fun one. You guys know this one. This is where whatever you do, you have to match, okay? And if we see the wrong hand, and let's hopefully our zoom. Everyone lift your left hand. So I'm backwards. Adam, lift your left. And Zach, lift your left. Okay, so I'm the only one that's backwards. So I'm not going to lead it. Dominic, do you want to lead it? It's showing a... Uh... Oh, it's showing the right? Me, well, it's I showing it's showing it on your right side. It's showing everybody on the right side because yeah. it flips it. You know, this is my left. Oh, hand. so but I see myself. Yeah. Here, wait. Happen. I know. I know what to do. Everyone, go to stop video, and yeah. click okay. on choose virtual background, and then choose video. It's towards the top. You guys are too smart for me. Um, we're gonna skip this one if this is. I, I don't. don't I don't gonna, have that. <laughs> let's, uh, I see let's, mirror let's, my video. Yeah, that's the yeah. That's what video. you do. Yeah, my video, my video is already mirrored. You see my left hand? I saw it. No, it's like your right okay. hand, but I don't know how to do it. Mm. Yo, you guys, we're going to skip this one. So we're going to play, play the music. Play the music, Zachariah. All right, we're going to go back to the big wheel of spin. We have say eight, nine. This is the wheel of fun. As we screen share, we have brought to you by Zach. Music brought to you by Zach. Music brought to you by Tony B. And our next game is going to be... This is definitely a fun game. Thank you so much for the music, Zach. Um, freeze tag is where one of you is going to do a movement and, and bring an improv scene to life. And then somebody says freeze, and then you pick up, but it's a totally different set of circumstances. So you're not going to pick up the scene. You're just going to pick up the movement, and then it's a new scene. Do you guys understand the rules? Yep. So someone's like this, then you, and they're like, oh my gosh, 
then you could say like phrase and then be like yeah. achoo or something yes exactly it's a totally okay. different scene but it's the same physical you're taking it from that physical point yeah. so very good harper remember harper's had no training here at bsa live so she's doing really good she's a natural all right guys this is our grand okay. championship round who wants to start ella or harper i will let her Sorry, okay, Harper, you're going to start with the improv. Ella's going to tell you to freeze, and she's going to pick up from there. And Zach, Dominic, and myself are going to watch for creativity, being big, being heard, and having fun. I'm okay. taking notes. Okay. Remember, have fun like, like you're a kid again, which you are, and, and be big, and be just take a risk, okay? That's, okay? that's all we're looking for. You guys are amazing. This is the grand championship round. And Harper... Okay. Dude, no! Why did you kill him? He's my brother! What the heck? Okay. I'm gonna mind you out of this, but you cannot kill me Freeze. again. Freeze. Oh my gosh, I just got my nails painted. They're so pretty. It was like really expensive, so it was a birthday gift, but they're super pretty. I really love them. It's my favorite color. I just figured it out. And it's like, I really love how there's like little Freeze. Like sparkle. Oh my gosh. What is this? It's like a little purple dot. You know, it must've been my little cousin. I went to her, over to her house last night. It was really weird. They had balloons everywhere. It was her birthday, but no, like you were swimming, pot of balloons. They also had an entire room full of orgies. It was crazy. Okay, so it's, it's, it's not even cool. I just, I just failed my science test. <sighs> My friend, all my friends got like 90s and A's. Freeze, you know, freeze, freeze, Ella freeze. Z uh, Dominic, do you want to try single frame where it's doing the, the group frame just for your recording for editing? Sure. Okay, so we're going to, now you guys are going to be individual. So as soon as you get in the movement, you got to mm -hmm. make a sound so we see the movement match the last movement. Okay. Mm -hmm. right, so if you go freeze, then you got to go, okay. And now the frame, now the camera's on you. On well, I can always. Screen. I can always do it with the double spotlight too, so they're next to each other. Well, then do that. Do the double spotlight. Yeah, do that. All right, guys. So we're doing. Hey. The pick. All right, here we go. It's, this is the competition between the two girls. Ella, you're going to pick up from here. Ella and action. It's not even cool that all my friends got A's on this super easy science test. I mean, I felt like I was getting the right answers. Freeze. I I'm an elephant. <laughs> I just watched the Dumbo movie with my little cousin, and honestly, it's really funny and sad. But I'm an elephant. I'm an elephant. Or a fish. I'm a fish. I'm a fish. I'm a fish. Freeze. Freeze. Ow, my ears are hurting so bad. This heavy metal rock is not my type. Ow, I literally like think my ears are bleeding. Freeze. Okay, you freeze like this. Ooh, that feels good. Okay, let's just like, okay, my hair fix. I'm going to a ball this afternoon. Well, it's more like prom, but they're calling it a ball because you know how they do those weird names with it. Anyway, ooh, my hair looks so pretty. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, fancy. Fancy, get that fancy, yes, y'all. Fancy, cute. All right, Freeze, Freeze, we're going to end it here. Uh, I have an idea who I think is the winner. Uh, Zach, who do you think the winner is? I'll be the tiebreaker if there's a tie. Go with Ella. You're going to go with Ella. Dominic? I'm also going to go with Ella. I'm going to go with Harper because Harper was big and she was uh, very expressive and she was loud and she was fast. So, uh, Harper... As much as I wish I could override the two to one, um, and I, I really think that you were bigger, but Ella Grace, you are the winner of this game. So Ella, you're catching up. What is our score, Dominic? Our score, let's pull up the official the for us, or cue the music. scoreboard. It's 
Five to four. There is a one point difference. Very, very close. All right, we're going to go to the big wheel of spin. We've got Zach playing our wheel. We've got Dante on the control board here. And this is a big wheel. Yes, a big wheel of fun. This is so much fun. Thank you for the music there, Zach. All right, guys, who am I? Who am I? So who am I is basically saying um, I'm having a, is that the who am I is I'm having a bad day. No, this is, what is who am I? You no, who am I is the. Uh, gibberish slash yes, no. What? Yes, yes no, no. Gibberish. Okay. All right. So the way we yes. say this is one yes. of you gets a yes. So, and one of you gets a no. And uh, we're all going to give you certain circumstances. Like, uh, Dominic, where are they at? They are in an aquarium. They aren't looking inside of an aquarium. They are inside of the aquarium. All right. Zach, uh, give Harper a physical characteristic. Stones have teeth. She, she, she has to talk like this. She, she, I have to talk like this. Okay. okay. And Ella Grace, I'm going to say that you have uh, ants all over you, so you're itching. Sure, sure. But how can she have ants all over her water? So, Harper, Harper, you're yes. And Ella, you're no. And what, uh, Dominic, what is Ella trying to accomplish? Ella is trying to... Ella's trying to convince Harper to go to the movies. Okay. Okay, and... Uh, Zach, what is uh, Harper trying to do? Harper's trying to convince her to go to the mall. Okay, sure. Okay, that's it. You guys ready for well, your We seat? can only say yes and no, right? You can only say one and she says the other. So you're I yes. Say no. I say no, you say yes. Okay. And you have to sell us. Okay, okay here we go. Action. No! Go! Let's do side by side view. You guys stay in character. We're gonna do the spotlight view. Okay. Yeah. Wait, wait, we're gonna start over. Here we go. And spotlight view. Here we go, guys. Uh here we go. And action. No. No. I mean yes. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Uh-uh. Yeah. No. 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 Yes. No. 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 And cut. Cut, 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 cut. You guys are awesome. Let's give them a big round of applause, gentlemen. Let's get good job, ladies. All right, uh, Zach, uh, we've got our guest joining us here, Jamel. So we'll talk to you in just a second. Uh, Zach, who do you think was more convincing on their intention, reason, and conflict? Well, did they complete their intention? Did they get what they wanted, Zach? Who was better? I'd, I would give it to Ella. Ella, okay, Dominic. Who do you think? I would say Ella because I kept on seeing her pointing, and I like that. Like, no, let's go there. Okay. All right. And again, my vote doesn't count. Uh, Harper, I think for not having any classes was absolutely amazing. The only thing Harper I noticed is every one of your yeah were the same. It wasn't inflection rises and it wasn't variation. So next time we play this game, I want you to be more, have more variations of your yeses. So okay. uh, I'm outnumbered here. So Ella, you, it's a tie game. Let me see the scoreboard. Big round of applause. She okay. tied it up. So we're tied. <coughs> So wow. uh, what are we at? Five to five. All right. This is going to be our intermission where we talk to our special guest today and Jamel has joined us. So let's do a spotlight between he and I, and I'm going to do a little introduction of a dear friend of mine from my old acting school, the Bam Academy of Motion Picture and Television Acting. Jamel, how are you, sir? I'm good. I'm good. How are you guys doing? Good. I'm glad you could make it. You're just getting home from dinner. Yeah, birthday dinner. You know, that's oh, my birthday. Happy birthday, 21? Happy birthday. Oh, ah, yeah. Twice over. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for joining us here at BSA Live. We call this one game night. 
And uh, Jamel and I went to acting school at the Van Mar Academy of Motion Picture and Television Acting with the late, great Ivan Marcota. Yes, and we've got a lot of my former Van Martians here on the stage, but we're just honored to have you here. So are you still acting or are you getting back into acting? Um, I've been acting since I left Los Angeles. Um, so I lived in Los Angeles um, for you guys uh, six years ago. Um, had to move away for family, but I continued to act. Um, I did shoot a couple of series and I still remember your advice that you gave me. And um, instead of sitting on my butt waiting, I wrote some scripts and, you know, put those out and start shooting those and doing a um, web series as well. Right. And didn't I cast you in a big movie? You did cast me in a big movie. Um, that was the uh, start of my um, my being a professional actor. <laughs> right, Sinbad. Right, the fifth voyage. Sinbad, the fifth voyage. Yeah, we um, got still to... out. I think it's on Hulu or something like that right now, or Netflix. Yeah, or the... Netflix. Um, you can get it on Netflix, Vudu. You can order it on Amazon Prime. Um, and that was a great movie. It was so much fun having you on set. Was amazing as well. So that's cool. And you were the star of the whole movie, weren't you? Yeah, you know, well, um, with Sinbad, think, with Sean. Yeah, yeah, with Shaheen, yes, of course. But yeah, we um, being throughout the whole movie, um, just being able to see myself on a big screen, um, knowing that we were at Comic Con, walking red carpets, that was um, that was really like it was my dream come true, <laughs> you know, yeah. my dream come true. Well, I'm glad I could help. So that's what we try to do here at BSA Live. It's an offshoot of MR, and I'm really encouraging these young kids, these young actors to to learn how to act and be honest. And it's all about being honest. And then you get the opportunity through who you know and what you know, and then auditioning and using the tricks you learn here on stage. So um, if you wouldn't mind sticking around and watching some of these, we're doing a final uh, runoff there. The last couple game nights, these two are the final champions. So they're competing to see if who the grand champion is here. I would so absolutely find them. love to. Yes, okay. absolutely. All right, so Jamel, let's give him a big round of applause for being our, our special celebrity guest tonight. All right, we're going to go back to uh, the big wheel of spin. So play us in. Our little musician here, Zach, uh, is going to spin us in. All right, let's go over to the big wheel of fun. This is the BSA Improv Big Wheel of Fun on game night. This grand finale. This is the championship round between Ella Grace and Harper Hill. Harper Hill being our new team. And it is the... Describe your Zoom room. Oh, this is a challenge. Okay. So the way you guys do this is you guys need to look at the different screens, the different Zoom screens, the Brady Bunch pop-ups. And I'm going to ask you a question when you close your eyes to see how observant you've been to each little detail in each one of these little windows. Okay. So go ahead and take a quick little look and then I'm going to have you guys close your eyes. Go ahead and close your eyes now. Let's go into the screen, uh, the spotlight of the two women. If you could spotlight our two competitors. There's Ella Grace, and here comes Harper Hill. All right, Harper Hill, you're first. Close your, okay. You, uh, Harper, does Ella Grace have a cactus in her bedroom? Does she have a cactus in her bedroom? Yes. It's not How a many? real one, but it is a cactus type How many? thing. One, two, three, four, or five. I think it's one, but I might be wrong. Okay, go ahead and open your eyes. Five. Five. Oh, five. wow. Five. Okay. Five. But you know what? You I didn't get even one, think those were You get one point for being correct, and you would have got multiple points on the amount of times you were correct. So give her one point now. All right, Ella Grace, close your eyes. Okay. You can keep your eyes open, Harper. Close them, close them, close them. <laughs> she wants to win this. Ella Grace. What is on Ella Grace's camera, uh, stage left, her stage left. What's, what's on my stage left? No, no, no. What's on Harper Hill's stage left? Don't cheat. Is it a flower vase? Open your eyes. Yes, you Yay. are correct. Big round of applause. It's stiff competition, one to one. We're at six to six on our scoreboard. Uh, Harper, close your eyes. Harper, what? is on Ella Grace's camera left. Camera left. What is on I think Ella? it's a bookshelf. All right, open your eyes. Yeah. Look at that, big round of applause. She gets a point. So it's it's good you guys know camera left and stage left. You yeah. know the difference. Okay, Ella Grace, close your okay. eyes. <laughs> you, you're learning, I'll help you. 
Ella Grace, what color shirt is Harper Hill wearing? What color shirt? She's wearing a white collared polo shirt. Wow, open your eyes for another point. Oh. These points are going through the roof. Ella Grace, uh, yeah. you're gonna watch, sorry, Harper Hill, you're next. Close your eyes, Harper. Take a deep breath. What color shirt is Ella Grace wearing? Uh, she's wearing like a dark purpley brownie thing. All right, Ella Grace, play fair. Yes, play fair. What much. color? Like All right, let's give her. Let's give her another point. Yes. Harper Hill has a point. Yeah. We're doing good. Let's go one more time. Close your eyes, Ella Grace. Okay. All right, Ella Grace. Yes. Four point. Yes. What color shirt? am I wearing? You are wearing a grayish, bluish, navy -y That's shirt. a lot of colors. Open like, your eyes. Like a navy gray. Open your eyes. I'm wearing a black shirt, blacker than black can be. That's black? This is black. Looks navy. All right, well, let's ask our judges. Dominic, what color does my shirt look like? I would say that your shirt looks black. Okay, Zach, what color does my shirt look? And if it's gray, tell me. I'm going to be pretty honest with you. It looks black to me. All right, Ella Grace, you do not get a point. All right, so who started this? Harper? We are at a total of, it's even out right now for rounds. So it's all right, three rounds for uh, each person. All right, here we go. Let's, uh, let's spin, let's get the music. Cue the music, Zach. And let's go over to the big Wheel of Fun. We're going to spin the BSA Wheel of Fun for the next improv game. Here at BSA Live Game Night with our special celebrity. Now guys. Harper is in the lead with one ahead. Oh, Harper's got one point ahead. All right, look at the scoreboard here. And there's the spin wheel. All right, brought to you by Dominic. All right, here we go. The big wheel's going to land on a roll. Let's see what we got. Ooh, grocery shopping. All right, thank you for the music night. All right, this is grocery shopping. And uh, Jamel, you can watch if you want. Uh, you can be one of our coaches and judges. So let's go to our um, spotlight view of the two ladies. There's Ella Grace and there's Harper Hill. All right, in this one, the two girls are gonna go grocery shopping for Jamel and they're gonna get you some groceries. But whatever word it starts with, the letter that it ends with starts the next word. Yeah. So you guys understand the rules? So if I say I need to get an apple for Jamel, then it ends with an E. So then the next person needs to start the next object by saying, oh, I'm going to get an apple and I'm going to get an egg. You guys yeah. understand the rules? You guys yep. ready? Yep. Okay. Let's go get some groceries for Jamel. Starting with Ella Grace. Okay. So Jamel, I can just tell by his look his favorite food are definitely like some nice ice cream bars like you know those little klondike whatever those are, things are called that is a solid pick yeah absolutely <laughs> and remember yeah. we don't do plural so if she says plural you have to drop the s and go with the r yeah so okay. the word is ice cream bar okay so um, i'll just do r bar yes bar okay um you know ice cream bars sound great but right now, I could use, hmm, right now, you know what I could really go for? I could go some for some rich ice cream. Oh, okay, sure, yeah. We can definitely get some rich ice cream, but why don't we get some minced onion? I saw this really, really good soup, and it calls for minced onion, so. Mmm, minced onion sounds good. How about we get some noodles? Yeah, sure. Um, we can get some noodles, but let's get some English muffins. Okay, sorry. I was just thinking if that's plural or not. It is. And... All right. And, okay. And cut. And that's what I gotta. I gotta go with it. This is the grand championship round. That delay is going to cause a point to go to Ella Grace. I'm so sorry, Harper Hill. You're learning, but you're so good. You're stiff competition for our. Our little Ella Grace here. What's the scoreboard right now? We right. are once again tied up. All right. Uh, what do you think of the games, Jamel? These kids are having Ooh. fun. 
Do you remember these I mean, games in, in at Van Mar? Well, yeah, when you mentioned it, I was like, oh, man, I remember this. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah, these are fun. Yeah, we all play them because it gets you thinking on your toes. It keeps you yeah. sharp. Keep get your sharp. improv going and you sometimes you got to be quick because when you are you know whether it's uh, shooting on set or on stage you are going to have to be quick sometimes right. you mess up <laughs> or what if your actor doesn't give you the line you thought he was going to give you or she was going to give you and you got to stay in character are you going to break and call yeah. line well that'll yeah. get, get people upset <laughs> yeah right we don't do that so you got to be able to stay in character and he knows so, okay, well, we appreciate your expertise here as a working actor in Hollywood. Uh, let's uh, play the music, cue the music. Let's spin the big wheel of fun. Let's find out of the Improv, oh, great, weird, bad. This is fun. Okay, so thank you for the music, Zach. This is what we're gonna do here. Ella Grace, let's go to Spotlight and let's get uh, Harper on Spotlight. You guys have to top each other and you have to do it quickly. You have to do it with fun and creativity. And we want to, we want to be laughing. So it's got to be like really interesting. You guys yeah. willing to go get creative. We're going to start with good. Then we're going to go to bad. Then we're going to go to weird. Have some fun. Okay. Yeah. The bigger's better. Bigger's better. Okay. And you're going to judge them too, Jamel. So we're all watching you closely. The four gentlemen on the stage are watching these two young ladies compete for the grand championship of BSA live game night. Okay. okay. Let's start with Ella and then you're going to go Harper. You're going to go, Oh, you think that's good. And then you're going to top her. Mm -hmm. So your only line you have to memorize is you think that's good. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Ella Grace and action. Oh my gosh. I just had the best day ever. I like got to meet, like I traveled back in time and I got to meet Walt Disney and he gave me a signed autograph. Wow. You think that's good? I, I use your same time travel machine and I traveled back in time to the Native Americans and I got so many details and artifacts and I learned some of the writing that no one knew. When I came back with all of this knowledge, I got a $2 million check from all the museums and scientists that were like, oh my gosh, how did you do that? And then it's just like, Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Well, that is really good. But I just got this delicious slice of cake from Cheesecake Factory. You think that's good? I just got a horse and it's my dream animal. And guess what? This horse can sing. Like, okay, I can take well, it. You think that's good? I just got a unicorn that can sing and dance. You think uh, that's good? I just got a Pegasus that can sing, dance, and is a professional actor. Wow, wow, we're gonna go to that's bad. Uh, take it away, Ella Grace. That's really good, guys. Go ahead, you think that's bad. I just had the worst day ever. I stubbed my toe and it made me drop my taco. <laughs> you think that's bad? I just bought a taco truck and it didn't come with any taco material. <laughs> well, you think that's bad? I am the owner of that taco truck. And apparently someone stole it while it was getting delivered to you. So I just lost all my money. Well, you think that's bad. The, the singing, dancing, professional unicorn, Pegasus, alicorn, whatever it is just died and it got hit by my taco truck. All right, let's go with you think that's weird. Ella Grace, take us to the weirdest of the weird. Oh my gosh, I literally just had the weirdest day. I had like, I jumped into the computer screen and I was at Harper's house and Harper gave me her dead unicorn Pegasus thing. And it just like started barfing out tacos from the taco truck. And I was like, what is this? <laughs> You think that's weird? When I saw my unicorn doing that, all of the silverware in my house started singing and dancing. You got a dead unicorn barfing <laughs> tacos. <laughs> and it kept going on for hours after you left. Hours. All right, cut, 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 cut. Big round of applause. 
All right, guys. I, that's the best improv I've seen from the two of you. And got to say, any BSA Live improv stage this last past year and this year, I got to say that was the best. I'm very, very impressed as your coach. Uh, let's go to Jamel really quick. I know you've got the camera off, but if I can get you back on, I want to ask what you thought of those two young performers. What do you think? Um, I thought that that was great. Um, I Once you guys started to loosen up, you know, that second round, um, you really started to uh, let the creative juices go and no holds bar. Um, the only note that I would say, Harper, um, especially with you, you were definitely getting more loosened up, you know, second, third round. Um, we want to tell a story, but the challenge is to tell that story in the least amount of words that we can do. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, what, we're doing? what do you think about Ella Grace? Ella, you are um, a star. <laughs> you are awesome as well. Um, you had no holds bar. There was nothing off limits for you. So um, that was good. Um, don't think. Don't think. Like, there's no wrong answer. There's no right answer. We're not going to, you know, cuss you out because you pushed the limit. Um, so I just say get more on top of it. But other than that, you guys started to flow, started to uh, get some good laughs in there. So that's what it is. Yeah, it's really, really good. Hey, I'm going to do something. Jamel, can you turn your phone 45 degrees? Let's see if it actually fills up our whole screen here. Yeah. Like it, uh, all right. Thank you yeah. so much. For this, okay. um, oh, I should it up. <laughs> oh, no worries. So great advice from an expert, a working actor in Hollywood. Uh, Dom, what do you think? Who, who do you think won this one? So after looking at all the rounds and looking at kind of the building and topping on each other. Oh, this is a super duper hard one. Yeah. These girls are good. Um, go. I'm going to have to vote for uh, Ella. Okay. And Zach, what do you think? Who do you think won this? Um, I'm going to have to go with Ella, but first I want to mention how we have a whole cinematic universe going on with these games. It's the great. taco truck and the unicorn. It's... Yeah. <laughs> the taco much. truck. Oh, the unicorn. It's so it's spectacular. Up. So who do you who do you think uh, won that? I'm gonna have to give it to Ella. All right, that's two for Ella again. Harper, I, I'm in your corner, girl. I'm doing what I can, but the uh, the guys are going with Ella. Ella's had a lot more training here at BSA. She's had a whole year of schooling, so obviously her privates are paying off. Let's get you into your Monday privates with me, and let's see if you come back and you take the reins. Let's see what the scoreboard Ooh, has. Big drum our music going by Zach. Thank you for your wise, wonderful words, Jamel. And uh, cue the music. Get your music going. And the score at this point is not eight. Nine, eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine, eight. Harper's Plus Champion with this. Close to the end. All right, let's open the big wheel of fun. And that. Thanks for that music. Thanks for that music. Thanks, I jump on a jam with you. Yeah, so we're going to go to the whiteboard at this point, and we're going to do the whiteboard. And Ella Grace, we're going to give you a word in your private chat from our word generator by Dominic. He's going to generate a word, random. Mm -hmm. You're going to clear the whiteboard, and you're going to do the hangman with that word. Okay. Harper, you're going to figure this word out. So you have the word? Let me know when you have the word, Ella. Okay. Yes, that's okay. Means you have it. No, no, I'm I'm agreeing to what you're saying. Okay. Like, so tell me when you have the word in your private chat. Okay. okay what do we got? Have you sent it over? Okay, I got it. Okay, put put the letters, the amount of letters in spaces. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight letter word. Harper, say hi. Hi. All right, Harper, you, before the man gets hung, you need to figure out the word. You know how to play this game? Will you guess a letter? Yeah. Okay, so guess a letter and let's see if you're correct or incorrect. Uh, does it have an A? Yes, it okay. does. Oh, look at that. Stirring a pot. All right, go again, Harper. Does it have an E? Yes, e. it does. Ooh, you're doing great. Two A's and one E. Harper's on a roll. This is kind of like Wheel of Fortune, if you guys haven't figured that out. Uh, two E's and two A's. Look at that. Guess another letter. 
Um, I'm gonna take a wild guess. Does it have a Q? No, it does not. Think so. Now you get a circle. You get the head. So Ella Grace um, is going to the whiteboard if you say live. All right, let's go again. You got one, two, three, four more letters and a couple more strikes as she draws the hangman. Look at your word. Look at the word. Don't and see if you can figure out what is that word. What, what would have all those vowels in it? Does it have a B? A what? A B. As no. in boy. A B yeah. as in boy. Nope, you get another. There you go. Um, okay. I'm trying to think of a word like that. Mm -hmm. What would have two E's? What would go after two E's? What kind of word would go after two E's? Try to get that ending letter. Take a guess. Does it have a Y? No, it does not. All right. So there we go. So we're almost out of time. So keep going. Uh -oh. Three more strikes. Here we go. Um, okay, you got it. Got to say a letter. I know. Sorry, I'm just thinking. Okay. Um, You're under the gun. Did I already say L? An L? Yeah, did I already say that? No, and it does not have an L. All right, we're almost there. <laughs> Under the gun, the pressure's on. This is our grand championship round between Harper Hill and Ella Grace. Down to the hangman. Down to the hangman, that's correct. Give us a letter. Um, S. Is there an S? I don't have an S. Oh, look at that. It okay. does not have an S. Does not. All right. Oh, I thought you said that. do one more. You got one more shot. This is the final guess. Let's see the knots. What do you think, Arthur? Oh. Hey, um, Krista, how are you? That's my yeah. uh, Hi. You. Harper's in I the popped in earlier. I didn't want to interrupt. Oh, no worries. She's in the grand championship ball. So it's between she and Ella to see who's going to be the grand champion. Oh, my goodness. Two BFFs can. Competing yeah. against each other. Yeah, she's doing great. All right, here's your final letter. Let's see what she gets. Um, okay. And you know what? Mom can help. If mom thinks she knows this word, she can help. Okay. Oh, that wouldn't be fair. Um, I don't think you're gonna know the word. I don't know it. Yeah, really? <laughs> I can't guess it. It's like wheel blank of fortune. A, blank A, blank E, E, blank. Who made up this word? A uh, random generator on the internet. We just put it in the... <laughs> yep. The computer spoke, and this is what we got from it. It's a real word, but it's hard. Can you use but it? I have computer? one life left. Ooh. All right. I'm going to make you just say a letter, just a random letter. Um, F. F it is a not have an F. What letter uh, does it have? Wah, wah, wah. Should I paste the word in there? Please. Yeah, what is it? Don't Here say it. Uh, 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 oh, so close. All right, let's spin the wheel. No point. Uh, let's give the point to Ella Grace. Ella Grace got the point. All right, we're going to spin the wheel. Let's see what the next improv game is. Uh -huh. Vocal warm-ups. Right. Right. We usually start the day off with vocal warm-ups before we perform. Jermel, you probably remember these, like Peter Piper picked a peck of pickles, Sour Sell Seashells, Rubber Baby Buggy Bumper, uh, Toy Boat, Toy Boy, uh, blah, 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 blah. Toy Boat, Toy Boat, Toy Boat. Toy boat. <laughs> now, they're all challenging. So uh, let's start with Ella Grace, because she's done these. Pick, pick a vocal warm-up as fast okay. as you can say it. 
How much would could Woodchuck check if Woodchuck would check with Woodchuck would check all the water for Woodchuck could you quit? All right, Harper, do you know any? I'll teach you some if you don't. Uh, I know some. Okay, let's see what you got. Mother maiden rush my M Ms. Mother maiden rush my M Ms. Mother maiden rush my M Ms. Nice, Ella Grace, could you top that? A different one. A different one. Um. Okay. Sure. I'll try. Okay, go I don't it. really know any different ones, but no, I'm. Don't, don't jinx do... yourself. Go for it. I'll be oh, okay. <laughs> I'm thinking. Sorry. Okay. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. If Sally sells seashells by the seashore, how many seashells did Sally sell? Okay. Close. Close. Harper, do you have another one? I'm just gonna. Can I do the one that Ella started off with? Yes. You sure can. How much wood could watch a chuck? What you could chuck? What you could chuck? All the water would chuck you for. All right. I'm going to have to give this one to Harper. What do you guys think, Zach? I, I agree with that. Yeah. Harper, you... All right. Jamel says Harper. Zach says Harper. Dominic? Um, yeah, I'm going to say Harper. Yeah. All right. Harper gets a point. Big round of applause. Uh, so and, we. What's that? What? Right now, I'm going to go over to the scoreboard quick. We are. Ella is just in the lead. Ooh, 10 to 9, 10 to 9. All right, let's play the music. Cue the music. Let's spin the big wheel of fun here. Rob's going to be here at BMC Lines doing that with our special celebrity guest, Judge. All right, we've got it. Landing on the 16th at breakdown, tic tac toe. Ella Grace loves tic tac toe. All right, let's get the girls, uh, let's get the right board up. I literally heard the, the steps the it's first okay. time. I will find a way to give you bonus points for not, I'll help you. Yeah. We'll help you. Okay. okay. This is going to be challenging. I'm going to help you. Well, because Ella Grace is in the lead. So we'll, we're going to be, we're not going to totally crush you. Only by one. Okay. I know. You're really close, Harper. You're really All close. Right. Not over yet. Here, here's our tic tac toe board, and you have to answer a question right. And Jermel gets to help you because he maybe forgot the 16 steps too. So uh, he is going to help Harper. Okay. All right. Okay. We got this, Harper. All right. Okay. So for the X, Ella Grace. Yes. What is step number 16? Forget about it. All right. Forget about it. Hey, where do you want the X? I, I choose bottom left. Bottom left. Good years. choice. Good choice. Oh, Good choice. Right. All right. Let's go to Harper and his her teammate. For a circle, a zero, an O. It is going to go wherever you want to place it if you can answer this next question correct. What is step number one? What is what? Sorry, there's a lot of noise in the background. What is step number one? One. Um Um, sentence, something sentence, um, sentence. Zach, do you want to help? Just a sec, I'll give you more teammates. Zach, do you want to help? I don't Zach, are you there? Zach. I, I think he left. I think he's playing, practicing his guitar, getting ready for his next song. I can... Help yeah. too. Okay, uh, Dominic, I'll let you help. What's step number one? Step number one, I believe, is it drama or comedy? Okay, Harper, do you do you believe? Do you believe what I say? Um, I don't think so. I think it's some. It, it's it's longer than that. Okay, so this is the twist we're going to put on this. I'm going to use Dominic to either lie to you or tell you the truth, and you have to. Oh. Figure out if he's lying or telling the truth. That's your okay. that's your angle. Ella Grace has to tell me what the step is. Is he lying or is he telling the truth? Nature of the is script. It drama or comedy. Nature of the script, drama or comedy. He's lying. Okay. Unfortunately, he's telling the truth. It is nature of the script, comedy. Or comedy. So you do not you do not get anything. We're going to go to the next question. Ella Grace, are you yes. there? I'm there. All right. All right. Answer this question correctly, and you'll get another X wherever you'd like to put it. What does break a leg mean? What does break a leg mean? Break a, uh, break a leg means good luck. Or? Or 
uh well do i have to say like the whole definition like the story and meaning between it well that's what i'm asking okay sure okay so back in the olden days they um on stages whenever there was a standing ovation and they had to like drop the curtains really fast there were these things called legs and they used to like drop the curtains and that, and whenever you had to close the curtains really fast that means you sometimes you would break a leg and like not a physical leg but the stage leg and so that means it's a good sign because if you break a leg that means that you got a standing ovation yay it means multiple multiple standing ovations so much that it broke the wood that's at the bottom of the curtain Congratulations, yeah. you get an X. Where would you like to put it? Top right. Top right. Ella Grace is taking top right. She's setting the game up as a chess player. All right, we're going to go to Harper. Harper is going to have to decide if Dominic is lying or telling the truth. So Harper, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, so Dominic is going to tell you either a lie or the truth about step number five. What is step number five, Dominic? Step number five is setting. All right, Harper, is step number five setting? I think he's lying. Okay, you're correct. He's lying. It's, at, it's an Anacene event. Good job. You get an O. Where would you like to put it? Right in the middle. Right in the middle. Oh, for a block. We got a big block right there by Harper Hill. All right, let's see what we can go next to Ella Grace. Ella Grace, what is step? Say hi, Ella. Hi. All right. What is step number 15? Step number 15 is to revisit step two. What is step two? Step two is a storyline in one simple sentence. Ooh, she's good. She's good. All right. You get next. Where do you want to put it? Congratulations. Ella did her homework. I will choose the bottom right. Bottom right. Ooh, she's setting it up for a possible win. Let's go to Harper. Say hi, Harper. Hi. All right, Harper, is Dominic lying or telling the truth about this next question? Dominic, what is step number seven? What is step number seven? What are your feelings about any other characters with but? All right, is he lying or telling the truth, Harper? Wait, what? Sorry, can you just say it one more time? Your feelings about the other characters with any but? Is he lying or telling the truth? I know there was one about butts, but I can't. Um, two seconds. Let me just go through it. I think he's telling the truth. All right. He is telling the truth. How do you feel about the other character with any butts? That's correct. You get a circle. Where would you like to put it? Uh, you still have a chance. You can put it wherever you want. Yeah. Um, I'll put it in the, right next to mine. All right. So on the right middle? Yeah. Right here? All right. There yeah. we go. She's setting herself All up right. for a win and a block. All right. Ella Grace. Yes. For a possible win. For a possible win. Mm -hmm. What is upstage? Where is upstage? Upstage is the whole um above row like i don't i don't know how to like the row that my one x is on and then the two empty spaces so that's upstage yes that's upstage do you know why that's upstage yeah because back in the olden days <laughs> they, <laughs> their stages were slanted because the audience had to sit on the floor so when the performers were on the stage it looked like they were higher up because the oh uh, he knows her history that's correct that's great i stages. actually learned this in my drama class at school yeah, so it's great stages and the stage that goes up is upstage and then you go down it's downstage so that was not from bsa acting that was I from where would you like to put the all at my at my school well, i'm glad that they're still teaching it so yeah. yes where do you want the <laughs> okay um i put my x um let's do oh this is a hard one let's do bottom middle bottom middle for the win and all right let's give ella grace a point and a bit yeah. good job 
So I don't know if Zach's with us, but if he's not, I don't know how Dom can play music and cue. But I'm right here, Zach, sir. Oh, play I'm music. Here. Cue music. Zach, what's the score? Wait, can you see it? Oh, I forgot to press share. That's why. There we go. <laughs> All right, score is 11 to 9. I'm still going to show you. still got a shot. That's been the big wheel of fun. We're going to go this wonderful wheel that Dom has made for us. From the town here on the stage. Vision. Freedom. Yes, judges. Very exciting. Oh, it landed on stage. World. All right. So this is between Alec Mace and Harper for the grand prize. Who's going to be our grand champion? Let's get them in the uh, in our spotlights. There they are. There's Ella and there's Harper. All right. So Harper's on a different time zone. She's getting tired. We're going to end this soon, Harper. And Ella Grace is in uh, on the East Coast. So you guys are both not LA. So it's late for you guys. It's 10 12. Hey guys, I'm on the East Coast too. Oh, wow. All you guys are. So is Dom. I'm the only one on the West Coast. That's well, funny. I'm Central. Next time I will right. be on the East Coast. All right. So we're going to wrap it up here really soon. So let these let these uh, figure out who the winner is. So this is space work. So space work is like business and being able to make us believe if you pantomime that pantomime, like if you're drinking a glass of water, I want to believe you're really drinking. If you pick up a phone, I want to see you set the phone down. I want to see you pick it up. So I want to believe that when you open a door, you don't open it into yourself. You actually, you actually open it, right? So anything you do, we're going to see the object. If you set a little rabbit on your chair and somebody comes and sits on the rabbit, we're all going to go, ah, because we believe the rabbit's there. So you need to create a scene that we believe you're opening the door, you're picking up the phone, you're drinking a glass of water. This is not how you drink water. You, 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 you have a glass, right? And I got to believe that you believe it's there. So this is pantomiming. All right. So I'm going to tell you what to do and you're both going to do it. And then I'm going to ask our, our judges if they believe that you really had that object. Okay. All right, here we go. I want you guys both to drink a glass of cold water. Do we go at the same time or does someone go first? Same, same time. We're both judging you to see who's more real. Okay, I want you guys to brush your teeth. So this is your kitchen, this is your bedroom, bathroom, and there's a mirror and sink right in front of us. And we are the mirror. So the camera is your mirror. And so you have to look in the mirror and I wanna believe you're brushing your teeth. If you have to spit out the water, do it. You know, whatever you guys do, really brushing your teeth. All right, I want you guys to finish brushing your teeth. I want you to comb your hair. Okay, I want you to get the lint off your shirt, the cat hair off your shirt. Okay, I want you guys to check your teeth, make sure there's no spinach in your teeth. Okay. I want you guys to um, get a phone call. The phone's ringing, answer your cell phone. Hey. I want you to get upset what they said to you on the phone. Why don't you hang up? I want you guys to open the door. Open a door. I want you to close the door. I want you to go back through that door, come back into your room. Okay, I want you guys to sit down. 
And I'm going to cut you guys right there. That, that was a tie for me. Uh, Dominic, what do you think? Oh, that was just, you were both so good, first of all. Yeah. Um, do I really have to choose? No, they can, <laughs> I think it's a tie. It has to be a tie. It has to be a tie. Right. Uh, let's go to Zach and then, and then Jamel. So, uh, Zach? It's really, really, really close, but, but I think Ella did better. All right. And let's see what Jamel has to say. You know, um, on this one, I'm actually going to disagree. I'm going to go with Harper. You know, what kind of solidified it for me was the, uh, the actual phone call and she got some uh, disturbing noise or some news. So um, she kind of locked it down on that one, too. So oh, look okay. at that. Well, there's there's two ties and one for one and one for the other. So the two ties win as a tie. So they both get a point. They okay. both get a point. All right. This is the final game of the night. We're going to spin the big wheel, play the music, get the music. Final game of the night. We're going to wrap it up. Okay, wheel is coming up here. All right, this is our uh, final. And thank you for the music. And what do we got? Sense, remember, let's spin it again. I'm going to spin it again. I'm going to find a good one for us to finish with. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. It moved forward. Okay. With that one going, we're going to find a fun game to end the night with for the grand championship between these two young ladies. Very talented. Very, very stiff competition. It's very hard to judge these two amazing actors. Uh, we can't, we weren't, what was that, space work? Yeah. It's, it, no, it said um, add one word story. Yeah. Oh, it's the one yeah. word story. One word story. Okay. So this is, if you guys stutter, stumble, or think too hard, you're out, okay? okay? So what's our score, Dominic? Our current score is Ella with 12, Harper with 10. Oh, all right. These, these are two points. Two points. Hey, Tony, do you mind if I do something really quick with, um, with Harper and Ella? Please, please, have at it. Awesome. awesome. All right, so... Last round, I know that it's late, so our energy is low. This is something that you should probably take with you uh, on everything that you do, because whether it's, you know, you're at school or you're on set, your energy is going to get low. And if you're doing a comedy, it is especially important for you to be uppity, be chipper, because the camera don't lie. I mean, you know, you know, it doesn't lie. So if you lie to it, it won't. So with the girls, I just want you guys to... Um, Take in a deep breath, um, breathe into four. So hold for a second and then just be silly and let it out. <laughs> so there is no thinking. This is the last round. I want to see like spit fire. Like if it's more than two seconds, you lost. All right. Yep. Off to the top of the dome, no thinking. Just go. Yep, I love it. Thank you, Jamel. Professional actor there, giving you wonderful advice. All Thank right. You. Well, thank you so much. So this is one word added to one word to make a sentence. If you get to the end of a sentence and you don't know the next word, you say period. You don't start a new sentence with and, and you start a new sentence as fast as you heard the period. No yeah. delays, no delays. This is, no delay. this is either a tie or a win. It's either... Harper catches up and ties, or Ella what? Grace plays. What happens if there's a tie? Then we'll get the tiebreaker, okay? Okay, cool. So, but that's not how you think. You think to win. You gotta yeah. have that fighter. You're gonna win this. All right, here we go. Championship if it's round. A tie, you guys grand have to be in front This is for the grand championship of the BSA Live game night. Very excited to see these two champions duke it out. Here we go. Create a sentence, one word at a time, starting with Ella Grace. Unicorns. R. Amazing. Lee. Nope. Right. Nope. Nope. You can't add a le a L E. Oh, you can add a oh, Okay. All right. sorry, I it. So I'm going to give Ella Grace two points. Let's go again for two more points. This is for five points. This is for five points. Here we go. And Ella Grace, action. Tacos. R. Crazy. Good. Period. The unicorn. Loves tacos, the 
No, huh? you gotta say period. You gotta say period because you can't start a the unless my grant is my grammar off. Judges, did I do that wrong? No, no. Nope, you had to say period. If you're gonna say the, that's the beginning of a sentence. So five points to Ella Grace. This is for 10 points. 10 Dominic points. I don't even know what I'm doing. 10 points and start Harper. I, eight, two, many, tacos, period. Unicorns are very, extremely, no, I don't know, very extremely. What do you judges? What do you think? Very extremely, not English. Ten points to Harper. Ten points to Harper. We give it to Harper. Right. It What's to the Harper. score right now? What's the score? Okay, current score is twenty to nineteen. Ella Grace is one behind. Oh, this is anyone's game. Anyone's game. This is for twenty-five points. Twenty-five oh. points. Anybody's game. Anybody's game. Anybody's game. Here we go. And start Ella. Amazingly. Wait, what? Are we doing? Oh, 25 to Harper. <laughs> this is 50 points. 50 points. This is the last round, no matter what. I'm too nice to you guys. Last round, 50 points. Anybody's game. Anybody's game. And start with Harper. Hi. Eight. Two. Many. Tacos. Period. Mm -hmm. The unicorn was eating the flower bed, period. I was very tired last night, period. So the unicorn snored all night long period later that night i ate some flowers from the flower garden period so then my dog came up the slide period i ate seven donuts that night period later that night <laughs> unicorn ate 17 donuts period Pizza night uh, eats. Oh, Ooh. I don't know about that. Ooh, Pizza the night. Ice. What do you think, off. judges? Uh, I think. No. I, Zach, what do you think? Yeah. Dom, what do you think? No. No. Oh, grand champion of the BSA Live what? Game. Thing. Harper Hill. Oh, man. Man. The game that was really challenging. Ninety-five. I was on the edge of my seat. Ninety-five to night. Ella Grace, you put up a good fight. Wow. That was, that was a good game, game, Ella. You're really good. Wow, that was like a tennis match that I've seen on like the ESPN. That was a, amazing. <laughs> that was like spectacular. I was like, oh, I was on the edge of my seat, just like, oh my gosh. That was, this that is the was longest round. Match. All right, Jamel, what do you think? It was, it was a total no by you, Tony. You're absolutely right. Um, you know, I was on my the edge of my seat the whole time. It was a ping pong. I almost got dizzy from the uh, the score <laughs> change so much. So nice job, but um, you know, they both walk away with their heads held high. And um, you know, shout outs to the Victor Harper. Yes. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> All right, Zach, what are your thoughts, my friend? What do you think? Jesus oh, Christ, that was class. so close. <laughs> oh. It was right there. It was yeah. so close. But oh, okay. right. Dom, nice you job. Dom. I just have to say that was that was spectacular. Okay. Th that was the most intense round of the whole game. It was going back and forth and back and forth. Oh my gosh, is it gonna happen? No, it didn't happen yet. No, oh my gosh, it just happened. <laughs> 
Oh, you guys, oh. I'm so proud of you as your coach uh, and as the game show host tonight. This is what improv is all about. Not thinking and responding and being quick and fun and witty and not worrying about the results. This is why I play game night with you guys, because it's going to make you way better actors. So there's no losers. There's no real winners. But no. metaphorically speaking, um, Harper kicked your butt, Ella. <laughs> Harper! So, I actually got a question, speak, Tony. Speak. Um, let me ask. So, All right. So, Harper, what's it feel like to be the winner of the ultimate first year's annual game night? Uh, this was a grand championship. How does it feel? Um, it feels really good. I honestly thought Ella was going to pound me into dust. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not me. She's a great actor, and I've never taken a single lesson. So I'm really surprised, and I am so ha happy and excited. And ooh. You're very humble. Um, very that was, that was insane. Yeah, so Ella, um, let's hear what you have to say. You've been with us for a year. She's very humble and, and just we're, it's honor, we're honored to have her here. And hopefully she'll take some private classes and learn some chops that you have. But you were a tough, tough competitor. Ella Grace, what do you think? Yeah, so I think Harper did an amazing job. She definitely deserved it. Um, I hope she can come back next time and hopefully not beat my butt again. But yeah, I think that was really fun. I was on the edge of my seat. I had no clue who was going to get those 50 points. And I've been very grateful to be here for almost a year now. So, and I've had fun every single lesson and I don't believe I've missed a single class. So. I agree. Ooh, you're, perfect you're attending. Wow. Somebody's going to be very proud to have you and get you on their set. So you guys, wonderful actors. What do you think about Jermel joining us today? Any kind words for our guest tonight? Um, we'll start with Ella Grace. Oh yeah, thank you so much, Jamel, for coming. Um, it was a really great surprise to see you. And I loved your feedback for part Harper and I. And I hope you can come and coach again next time. Oh, uh, thank you, Harper. What do you think of our special guest, our celebrity expert? Um, pretty much the same thing as Ella. I'm so I'm I love what you said. Like, I know you're tired, but loosen up. You are amazing. Wow. Like you got a double espresso shot of coffee. Exactly. That's exactly that energy. So when you're um, out, keep that. Keep that. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much. Uh, Zach, what did you think of our celebrity guest today? I can tell he's a really chill guy. He's really nice. Uh, the tips he gave to Ella and um, Harper were just really like from the heart, you know? Yeah, so I do. Thank you for playing the music tonight. You're very talented. Yeah. I'm honored to have you as our musician. Uh, Dom, who's also our musician, who will play us out tonight, whether it be harmonic or guitar, we don't know, maybe both. Uh, Dom, what do you think of our celebrity expert guest tonight? I thought, first of all, your advice was amazing. I loved what you did with the breathing. That was awesome. Thank you. Just kind of bring I us all back in. <laughs> and uh, definitely, I hope to see you again here, for sure. I love it. I love it. And next time you come, we'll play a little clip of your work too. I, I didn't get a chance to cue something up for you. So, and then I um, saw that you have a question to your hand is raised. I do. My hand, my question is raised. Um, I didn't know if that was a proper etiquette to it do. Works. Oh, <laughs> um, but I did. So one thing that I will ask, um, Ellen Harper, when you guys were doing the one word story, mm -hmm. what changed from when you first started to that last round? Well, in the beginning, it was kind of more just like a game until Tony was like, okay, 50 points. And okay. we, it was more loose, more of like, I don't know, we, we weren't as drawn into it. There was and then, more at stake, Ella. You know the answer, more at stake. Yeah, it's more at stake. Yeah, 13 race at stakes. And towards the end, it was definitely more of a competition. It was very fun competition though i enjoyed every second of it and it was it was fun but it was very very suspenseful very intense and harper what do you have to say <laughs> um i think the beginning it to me is kind of the opposite at the beginning it was more of a fun loose like be funny like or whatever you want little game and then to the end when he raised the stakes and made that 
50 dang points. <laughs> then I'm like, um, 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 this, 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 um, but, and then after we raised the stakes higher from 25 to 50 and 50, whatever, um, then it, I, you get more comfortable because you do it more, I guess. If that mm-hmm. makes sense, it but does. it's also still on the edge of your seat. Like, um, yeah, sure. Like this, this Absolutely. unicorns. <laughs> um, well, the reason why I asked that question and you guys had amazing answers, um, is this, that third one that you did. So that last one, that feeling that you have where you were more comfortable, you were more relaxed. You just kind of threw ambition in the wind. That should be your first one. So just one of the tips to do it is even when you're doing classes with the game night, you know, if you need to take a minute to um, amp yourself up, as they said, and, you know, as we said in Van Mar, where it's to get your juices going. So you want to take your last attempt, your third time where you were just in the groove and even though I said that word three, four times, I'm going to say it again because it'll fit. I'll get you on the next one. Um, make that your first one, right? Or try everything that you can to make it your first one because those are the differences from um, being booked for something um, and like, oh, man, I missed it. And trust me, I know I've done that so many times where I'm like, ah, oh, man, if I practice, just if I did that well, I uh, did practice, I could have got it. Mm-hmm. But improv is fun. It's funny. It's fun. So even with the stakes are higher, it's fun. There's no off the limits. Like the bigger, the better. I don't think that you, if you've ever seen an improv show, no one's serious. No one's like, oh, well, no, they're all big and they're eccentric. And they're like, ah, like, and then a wolf came out of the house. And then what did the wolf do? The wolf dumped on the wolf, uh, roof and he started skateboarding in the pool. Where did the pool come from? So it's always big. It's always energetic. And so when you're performing, you just got to don't care and do it. Great and words of advice. Really, really great words. So the lesson, you guys, today was I choose to use games to help you guys understand real life acting and why it's important to raise the stakes. So in your monologues and your scenes, you need to find a reason to raise your stakes, not because of points, not because it's 50 points in a game. Your job is to raise the stakes. Okay. And you see why now. All right. So that's going to wrap up BSA. We're going to have Dominic. Thank you so much, Jamel, for being here. Thank you guys for having me. You're welcome back anytime. Come back anytime. And uh, it's just an honor to have you. And you've you've matured so much. It's such an honor to see you regurgitate these wonderful words. So thank you very much. Thank you. Those are big compliments from you. Thank you very much. Many, many, many years ago. So it's fun yes. seeing you. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's give him a big round of applause for being our thank special. Thank you guys guest. for having me. I'll try to make it next week, this time on time. So <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Thanks, guys. Right, Have a good Thank you for coming. So thank Dominic, you. Play music. go ahead, Dominic. Go ahead and play us out. And then when he's done, we're going to go and end the show as we normally end it. Thank you, guys. Wonderful show. I'm Peter Tony. This is BSA Live's Game Night. Our grand championship round is Harper Hill. She's our reigning champion. Who knows what next week's going to bring? Make sure you guys come back next week and check it out. Like, love, do whatever you can to give us some love by sharing these links with your family at your social media. All right, Dom, take it away. next week and this is our credit roll if we had credit rolls which we don't this would be everyone do the credit roll with your fingers credit roll rolling up rolling up this is our credit roll we want to thank everybody involved everyone that's come from the past the present and potentially in the future you're always welcome here a lot. all right so go ahead and cue us out with our organized clip of the ending of the show this is what kendall made for us mila made the opening and uh i don't even know if we played the opening did we? yeah we did we did we- Yep, we played yeah, the okay. All right, ed- uh, we're going to get edited by Dom, but uh, Woo-hoo. this is another night of BSA Live. All right, guys, see you later. Hey, guys, it's Kendall. Thank you so, so much for watching the show. Please make sure you check out our BSA channel and like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. All right, guys, we'll see you next Bye. week. Bye. Champion Harper Hill. We'll see Woo! you guys.